Hey guys, today I'm filming my fall beauty haul for November. I am sick right now, so I apologize if my voice sounds a little weird and I might have some weird choppy editing because I'm going to be cutting out coughing, but I have a huge haul to share with you guys. I'm so excited to just jump right in. So first I have a couple things from Sephora. So I am a VIB, so I was able to get 20% off during the VIB sale, which is fantastic. So there were quite a few things that I picked up that I will be getting for Christmas. Yes, I am one of those people that picks up my own Christmas gift, which I know sounds terrible, but all of my friends and family know how picky I am and they're just like, go ahead. Like, I don't want to chance surprising you with something and having you hate it. So I do pick out my own Christmas gifts. And I'm very excited about all the things that I'll be getting. You guys will be seeing that in my January beauty haul. But there were a couple things that I purchased myself. And the first one actually went on sale during the VIB Rouge weekend. So I placed this order through my friend Jean. And this was one of the weekly wows. And this is the full size of the Cover FX Mattifying Primer. And out of all of the mattifying primers I've tried, this one and the Too Faced Priming and Peachy are my favorite. So this was a weekly wow on sale for 50% off and then I was able to take off an additional 20% off with that VIB Rouge code. So I'm really excited to have this. I do have quite a few deluxe size primers to work through, but I am steadily going through my collection. So I felt justified in buying a full size of this and that is such a great price. And the other thing I purchased is pretty random. This is a mesh sponge holder from the Sephora collection. I think this was $8, so 20% off it was six dollars and I usually when I'm traveling I will take my sponge I'll put it in a washcloth and then I'll put it with my brushes and I make it back well there have been times just because of it being damp and being in the bag you know getting wet being in the washcloth in the bag several days there have been times where I have gotten a moldy sponge so I wanted to eliminate that so that is why I purchased this so because of the mesh the sponge is going to be able to dry and it's not going to stay damp and this actually is a really nice big size I'm able to put my little mini real technique sponge and my full size real technique sponge in here both wet and dry so I am really happy that I picked this up and actually the reason that I got this is because Jessica Braun had talked about a different one that was a plastic version and then I saw this and I decided I liked this more because it looks a little bit bigger so I have used this already and it's great so I definitely do recommend it it does serve a purpose for me in the way that I travel with my makeup products and my brushes so really happy I picked that up and then I did redeem a hundred points to get this little mini of the drunk elephant la la retro whipped cream I'm very very excited to try this because I also have the proteiny cream and I think I'm gonna put both of those in a sample project pan use the Proteiny for day and the La La Retro for night. And then I have three different Ulta orders. So two of the Ulta orders were with 20% off coupons and I again purchased some things that I'll be getting for Christmas. So I'll be showing you guys those in January. So what I recommend whenever there is a 20% off everything coupon, hold on to it until Wednesdays because on Wednesday is when Ulta has their four hour beauty break. Sometimes it starts at 10 a.m. Sometimes it starts at 2 p.m. And definitely follow Beauty Budget Collection because she will have the link usually early and you can go ahead and add it to your order. With both of these, I was able to place my order before I left for work, which was fantastic. And then of course, always use Ebates. But usually I think it's if you spend about $50, sometimes 60, you can get this little beauty break which is usually a set of four or five products they might be deluxe sizes and then occasionally we'll have one full size so i did place two separate orders on two separate weeks because they did send out a 20 percent off coupon twice which was awesome so i always recommend that so i will show you the freebies but i'm not going to show you the actual items that i got because as i said i will be getting those for christmas so the first order i placed had two things i'll be getting for christmas and then i purchased for myself the garnier nutrice nourishing color cream in the shade number 93 light golden blonde i was really afraid they were discontinuing this but it seems like what they did was at least for my color they did change the look of the box the hair dye does look slightly different and also it's a different model but I'm really happy they aren't discontinuing this so this was on sale for one dollar off and then I was able to get an additional 20% off which was fantastic and I think I needed just a couple more dollars to hit that threshold to get the freebie 
if I'm remembering correctly, and maybe it was also just because it was on sale, I figured I might as well pick it up now because a lot of stores don't have all the shades. I think that's what it was. So then the beauty break at that time was a four piece set from Becca. It included a little mini champagne pop highlighter. I tried it, it was too dark for me, so I did pass it on to my sister. And the other products would be the Becca Velvet Blurring Primer, which I haven't tried before. A size of the Becca under eye brightening corrector which I'm super excited to try it is so tiny and cute and a lot of people really enjoy this product and then here's the most impressive part of this beauty break you've got a full-size Becca skin love glow elixir which is a serum so that is very this is full size I think this is probably like 40 bucks or something retail that's insane so I was really really excited about this beauty break and I couldn't pass it up and also at this time there was a freebie coupon code for a deluxe size of the benefit a gimme brow gel I believe it came in three different shades but I chose to get the shade number three and give it to my sister it's a product that she really loves and I have a couple backups of that already in my shade so I was happy I was able to give that to her and lastly for that order is something that I'm so excited to show you so you guys know when you order from Ulta they change the way they do their freebies it used to be like makeup fragrance variety then it just went to variety and now they don't have them at all but it's really like over the past couple weeks that they took away the freebies but what was really insane is that it's usually a bunch of different foil packets and whatnot but with this order one of my freebies was a deluxe size bronzer this was not a code this was just the variety sampler freebie so this is a little small size of the bare minerals ready bronzer in this shade the skinny dip that's insane i was so so excited to get this it was such an amazing surprise so i'm definitely excited to try this out and i hope i really enjoy it and then for my second ulta order i did get one item that i will be getting for christmas and then i also had purchased the anastasia bronzer in the shade rosewood people were really raving about the bronzers when it first came out i love the packaging it looks just like the anastasia amrezi highlighter packaging and the formula was amazing very pigmented it blended out nicely but the color is way 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 too red for my skin tone i tried to convince myself that it looked good but it really didn't so i did end up returning that and i'm really sad about it part of me is like well just try again like maybe it was your other makeup but i really just think it's just not a flattering shade of my skin tone all of the shades in that range have a strange pinky red undertone like uh, all of them do i think so it just is not compatible with my skin tone unfortunately and then at that time there was a five piece benefit beauty break which I was able to get and also I did qualify for a random sample bag so the random sample bag was mostly a bunch of foil packet samples but then they did also have some deluxe size samples as well they had hair skin body makeup products and I have already passed some on to friends but I will show you what I kept so this is what the little sample bag looks like and they did have a deluxe size L'Oreal bronze sublime like body bronzer thing that I passed on and a philosophy purity cleanser that I passed on to a friend but I think I kept all of the other deluxe size products so the makeup item was the buxom full-on lip polish in Celeste which a lot of people really love as a nice lip gloss topper so I was excited to be able to try that then we have the Mario Badescu rose hip mask the physician's formula rose all day oil free serum which i have already been using in my sample project pan and then we have the first aid beauty ultra repair cream and i plan on using this as more of like a body moisturizer so those were all of the exciting products from that sample bag and then the benefit gift came in this really cool bag it kind of reminds me of like a ouija board and one of the items was another benefit gimme brow gel in the shade number three so i did give that to my sister the bag was one of the items and then there were three other deluxe size products so we have the bad gal bang mascara which i have not tried yet but i have a few of so i'm excited to give that a shot the 24 hour brow setter which is their clear brow gel and the brow bow conditioning primer which i have have tried before so I was really excited to be able to get both of those freebie bags and then I did place another order that 
was before Thanksgiving, they had a bunch of different random things on sale. I don't even know what the sale was supposed to be, but there was also a freebie sample bag at that time as well. So I will show you all the products and then I will show you the sample bag. So I can't remember like the percent off that the products are, but I did take a picture of my order so I can tell you how much these things cost. So with this order, there was a freebie code for the Cover Effects Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Moonlight. I've had these before and I sent them to my friend Ami because they are too dark for me. So this will go into a giveaway, but I'm excited that I have that to give to you because it's a nice product. I just don't have a good shade for me. And then I believe Revlon was 40% off and I picked up two of the Revlon Colorstay Angled Brow Pencil in the shade Blonde for my mom. It's her favorite product. It's very creamy, so she tends to go through this pretty quickly. So I was happy to get those for her. Then I did repurchase the Milani Eyeshadow Primer. I absolutely love this. And I'm using a little Urban Decay sample right now, which will probably be running out soon. So I'll be excited to bust into this. And this was on sale for four dollars and nineteen cents i was also able to use a 350 off 15 dollar coupon on this order as well then the buxom big and sexy bowl gel lipsticks were on sale half off so i got the shade white russian and this is what the packaging looks like and this is only eleven dollars and here is the shade i do think it is really pretty this is a nice light warmy pink it is a pretty color and I don't have any of these lipsticks, so I was excited to try the formula. I will say though that I did try this on my lips and I wasn't in love with the color, so I'll try it a couple more times, but that might be something I end up returning. Then I did get another lip product. This is the Makeup Revolution Soap X lipstick in the shade Cake. This was $4.20, and I've never tried any Makeup Revolution lip products before so here is this shade it's a lot more mauvey it's very creamy it has more of a glossy finish then i also got one of the essence metal shock eyeshadows in the shade stars and stories which a lot of people have been raving about and this was on sale for $2.99 i think it might originally be either five or six dollars and this right now is actually the first time i'm swatching this wowza that is so pretty i was thinking this would be a little bit more taupe but it seems to be a little bit more purpley so that's really pretty i'll be excited to play with that then i did get the la girl pro matte foundation in the shade ivory and this was six dollars and 29 cents which is not bad whatsoever and i definitely will be doing a first impression and follow-up on this i also repurchased my dr bronner's bar soap i was not aware that ulta sold this brand because i had been buying mine from target i usually get the peppermint scent but ulta didn't have it so i got the lavender and this was 4.69 and then I did get two more high-end products. So I got two different shades of the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Blush. These were on sale half off, so they were only $12. I have not swatched either of these yet. I'm going to go in store to Ulta and swatch them because I don't know if I would actually love both of these shades once I saw them in person. And I don't want to tamper with something that I know can't be resold. So this is a color I think I'm going to keep. This is naturally pretty and that is just a beautiful matte peach blush. And this is a color I'm not sure about. This is Je ne sais quoi, which I do have in their powder ombre blush formula, but this one looks a lot more of like a light pink. It is a warm pink, but it isn't like a pink toned peach, if that makes sense. Then I'll show you the goodie bag I got with this order. A ton of little foil samples, which I won't get into, but I will show you all of the deluxe size samples that came in this bag. So we got the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. Also, there were a couple different variations. And for me, I basically go off the makeup products and whichever bag I prefer the makeup products, I'll tend to go with that version. So that's a lash primer, which I have not tried before an Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, which you guys know I love, so definitely not mad at having a backup of that. Then we have a little sample size of the MAC False Lashes Extreme Black Mascara. I can't remember if I've tried that one before or not, but I haven't really been impressed with MAC mascaras. 
Then we have this good size of the Laura Geller Spackle Primer, the hydrating version. So that will be exciting to try. I've never tried that primer before. And then the reason I chose this bag is a mini of the Anastasia Lip Gloss in the shade Vintage, which is a beautiful mauve color. And this is just the perfect size. I love getting minis of lip glosses and liquid lipsticks. And then there were some skin, hair, and body deluxe size products. We have the L'Oreal Pure Clay Cleanser, which is perfect for my skin type. The Bliss Lemon and Sage Body Butter, which is a good size for me because I don't use lotion a ton. And then we did get the Biolage Hydra Source Shampoo and Conditioner. And then as I said, a whole bunch of other foil samples. So I'm really excited about this bag and there's a ton of great products in here that will be fun to try out. So I thought this was a fantastic order. Also, I forgot with this order, I did have three times the points as well, which made it even more amazing. So those were all the things that I had purchased this month and then everything else here I had gotten for free. So there is an Instagram account called Pants XO Deals. I'll have it linked down below. And she is constantly posting about different freebie codes online. And usually we'll get some like foil packet samples, but sometimes you get deluxe size samples. And it can take forever for them to come in. But I did get a little deluxe size of the NARS Climax mascara. I am so excited to try this. People have been raving about it. So I was ecstatic to get this completely for free, no strings attached. So again, I'll have her Instagram account linked down below. Last month, I I showed you guys my Sephora play box. I told you I was pretty happy with it, but I was going to trade my sister a couple products and I did do that. And the items I traded her for would be the First Aid Beauty Coconut Water Cream and the Caudalie Vino Perfect Serum. So I will be excited to try those and you can hear my thoughts and upcoming sample project pans. And then my friend Amanda sent me a very, very generous package. I will have her YouTube channel linked down below. She is Amanda Alexander on YouTube and Fashion Footy on all of her other social media so she sent me a it's a mini jar but this is a ton of loose highlight this is the wet and wild loose highlight from the zodiac collection she had sent a little mini jar to me and our friend Ami and I was just so excited to try this out. I did feature it in this month's full face of first impressions which I will have linked in the cards. It is a really really pretty product and it was really easy to work with for a loose highlight. She also sent me the Laura Geller Baked Blush in Brighton in the shade Tropic Hue. She had gotten this from her BoxyCharm. I've never tried these blushes before. I always hear people rave about them when they go on sale at the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty and this is a corally color. I figured I would love. So I was really, really thankful that Amanda sent that to me. She did also send me two lip products. This is really cool. This is one of the Lancome Matte Juicy Shakers. This is in the color beige vintage. I have not tried this yet, but I cannot wait to try it and let you know my thoughts. It's such a cool product and I'm happy that it's a matte version. Those seem to be more pigmented as well. And then she sent me this little deluxe size of the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment in the shade Star Woman, which is a red. Now I don't wear reds very often, but I really do love this formula. So I couldn't pass up the opportunity to have this. Then Amanda sent me three indie polishes from brands I've never used before. The first one is a brand I've never even heard of before. This is the brand Bliss Polish and the shade is called Sweet Sentiment. So it is a mint base with some gold glitter pieces in it, which looks so beautiful. And then we have two polishes from the brand Pretty Serious, which just recently went out of business, which is such a shame. This beautiful purple is called Gloomy Kitty. And then this blue is called Pookie. And I'm just really excited to try these polishes. It sucks that I won't be able to buy any if I like them, but these are just colors I know that I will enjoy and I'm excited to try a new brand. And then Amanda had sent me three skincare products. This is the Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion Age Defined Exfoliator. This is the full size. She had gotten this in a boxy charm, so I thought that would be fun to try. Then she sent me two travel size Kate Somerville products. This is the Exfolicate Cleanser Daily Foaming Face Wash. This is a 1.7 ounce, like that's huge. And then she also sent me the Exfolicate Extensive Exfoliating Treatment. This is a half fluid ounce bottle. I have tried a little deluxe sample of this before, so I'm really excited to have these mini. So thank you so much, Amanda, for this very, very generous package. So then I have my Sephora Play to share with you, and this is one of the worst months that I've had in a while. So this is what the bag looks like. I think that they're just going to have this be the bag every single month. And yes, you can reuse these, but for me, these bags are kind of crappy, so I just throw them out. But I never really used the other bags before, so it's not a huge loss. 
So what I got in mine for the free product of the month, I got the Tory Burch Just Like Heaven fragrance. We'll see what I think about that. I'm very picky with perfume. For my hair care product, I got the Moroccan Oil Protect and Prevent Spray. It says it is a UV and pollution protectant. I do like the packaging that comes in. You guys know I'm terrible at using hair products, but it is a really great size, so we shall see. I did get two skincare products this month. This is the Dr. Jart Ceramide and Cream, which is it is a moisture retention shield. So I guess this is some kind of moisturizer, so it's fine. I haven't really tried anything from Dr. Jart, so that's cool. And then I did get the Clinique Pep Start Eye Cream. I've gotten this before and I didn't really like it, but it's something that I like enough that I could use it again. Then the makeup products. I was really hoping to get one of the Grande Cosmetics liquid lipsticks, but I didn't. Instead, I got the Sephora liquid lipstick in the shade number 40. I do like this formula and I don't have the shade, so that is nice. And then the other makeup product, she got the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder, which again is my favorite product, so good for her. And I got the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Powder. Y'all, I don't like regular HD powders except the Derma Blend one I really enjoy for setting my under eyes. This one I could have done without, but this will be a great item to throw in a seasonal project pan, so there's a positive. So this is definitely the most disappointing box that I've had in a while, but majority of the time I usually find at least $10 worth of products that I like, so it's okay to have a dud every once in a while. So the rest of the stuff is all PR. The first thing is from Influencer. This is the L'Oreal Unbeliever Brow. I have the shade Blonde. This is a drugstore alternative to the Wonder Brow. So you get the product and then you also get a double ended brush which has a spoolie and an angled brow brush. It actually is a really good brush and it is super handy to have that two in one. I did also feature this in my full face and first impressions for this month, but basically I don't like this product at all. It has like a primer consistency and see that's very slippery. This did not draw onto my skin whatsoever. It only stuck to my brows. And as you guys know, I have to draw on quite a bit in the front and in the tail. So this just did not do anything for me. I would not recommend this to anyone because I have pretty thick brows and it still didn't work for me. So I said this absolutely sucked. You can watch the demo and you'll be able to understand how bad this sucks. So I'm glad I didn't spend my own money on that, but it is a bit of a shame. Then I had gotten something from pinch me which is a website online where you can receive random products for free to review and they send you random random stuff like before I've gotten peanut butter and spicy skittles and quinoa and really weird stuff but I have also gotten hair dye before so pinch me you guys have probably heard about because a lot of youtubers will do sponsored videos on it but I can tell you it took me a very long time to start receiving stuff from pinch me so basically you fill out different surveys online and the more surveys you fill out the more points you have on your account and the more often that you receive products so this thing I was really excited to get and I was surprised because this was a full size of the Garnier skin active balancing facial mist that is made with green tea. So this is not a makeup setting spray. This is more of a refresher spray. I've used it a couple times and the nozzle is actually pretty fine. So I was really, really impressed with that. I am enjoying it so far. It has a nice light scent. So I was really excited to get this for free. All I have to do is review it on the Pinch Me website. So then I did get a package from Derma E. They sent me their advanced peptides and collagen moisturizer, which sounds uh amazing for a good nighttime moisturizer because I am looking to try some more anti-aging products and then also the Derma E Firming DMAE Eye Lift which is an eye cream. I have one deluxe sample I'm using right now that I'm almost out of then I have another deluxe sample from Tarte and after that I'll be out of eye cream so it's awesome that I was able to get this because I think it will last me forever so I will try these out and give you guys my thoughts on them but thank you so much Derma E for sending me products. I always Always, always appreciate whenever a company sends me anything. Next I got a package from Pixie. So we got this makeup bag full of several, several minis of their Glow Tonic Toner and also their newer Rose Tonic Toner. So as you can see the Rose Tonic is smaller. This is 0.5 flu ounces and the Glow Tonic comes with 1.5 three, five fluid ounces. So I kept two of each of these for me. And then the other ones I did gift to friends. 
and I am right now using the jumbo bottle they gave us for Christmas last year this is a really good very gentle toner and I'm really excited to try the rose one I will throw this into a sample project pan so I can test it and review it there but thank you so much pixie for being so generous and guys that was my very very big haul for November I would love to know what things you purchased this month and I would love to know your thoughts on all of the items that I mentioned here today thank you all so much for watching this video please like comment and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.